for what it's worth, I haven't thrown out the effigy just yet. It's in my garage. Guess I'll keep it there for a little while. I need some separation between me and it. It's put away, well, put to the side, and uh, I'm just gonna do other things right now. In the meantime, though, I'm going to start cleaning up my work area down here. I do want to build my $20 prop controller. I got all the parts in, so I want a clean work area before I start working on that. While cleaning up, I came across these. Passive infrared sensors. I had gotten them from FreeCycle a couple of years ago, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to put these to uh, use somewhere. So there was some benefit to cleaning up besides the obvious. I also <laughs> found these. I forgot I had these. These are uh, remote controls that you would use for like Christmas uh, lights or uh, decorations and stuff. That's how they've been marketed at uh, Home Depot. And I picked them up a few years ago, I remember, because they were like five bucks, I think, they were selling them for. So I got one, two, I got five sets. So I've got 15 controllers, which I should be able to uh, plug a prop, maybe a light uh, source or something into these. And then it's got a remote if I wanted to do it by hand, but maybe I could use it to uh, automatically uh, do it as well. Well, it might not look like much, but it actually cleaned up a whole, whole lot. So, I can work in here again and make a new mess. One of the things, though, I'm going to do, though, is disassemble this computer. I got this off of FreeCycle. This is when I was trying to get the uh, download that program for the $20 prop controller. You need a Windows-based computer for it. And that was before I, f I re found my old desktop. I put this back on FreeCycle, but no one was interested in it. So, I'm going to try and uh, cannibalize it, at least for a few things. Certainly the power supply that's in here. And I'll see what else I can take out of here. There we go. <laughs> okay. And stuff. 40 gigabyte. All right. Done with this. I just finished listing these items on eBay. I'm giving them away for a song between five and ten dollars, I think. If I sold them all, it'd be like twenty bucks I get. It'd be great. <laughs> and I've also got on my computer uh, the video by Jason Becker and Montclair's Lair. Montclair's Lair did a really detailed step by step on it, so I'm really following the uh, his instructions. But the one thing that I'm confused about in all this is in one of my uh, packages that came in, I also got a bridal veil. I don't know. I'm not quite sure what this means. <laughs> yeah, so there's nothing quite so much fun as watching me uh, do electronics, I know. And hopefully I got all the right parts. You might remember my rant a couple of weeks ago about Windows PCs and being able to uh, load my uh, to get the connected to the internet on the computer that I had and there was just like such a big problem well it turns out there was no problem at all all I did was I downloaded it to my Mac put it on a card and loaded the card into the computer into the PC and it's up going to uh, try and do this uh, step by step here uh, all right already have a problem I f***ing hate Windows. To run this application, you must first install one of the following versions of the .NET Framework version. Once again, another reason to f***ing hate Microsoft and Windows. Alright, I had to download a program, the files or whatever the hell it was, this uh, .NET Framework version 2.0. So I downloaded it to my Mac, just like I did with the uh, Four Banger uh, program. Put it on the uh, card, loaded it onto the computer, and uh, uploaded it onto the, the desktop. So it seems to have worked because the Four Banger program has come up. I f***ing hate Microsoft. <laughs> so continue. 
controller not loaded. Houston, we have object reference not set to an instance of an object. What the f does that mean? Well, that's interesting. I actually just ran it from the card and not from the desktop, and it seems to be working. Okay. All right, so it looks like it might have uh, worked. So my USB 2.0. Okay, found. Can Windows connect to Windows Update? No, not this time. Thank God Dave ran into these problems. As is typical with uh, Windows computers, the friggin' thing froze, so I had to reboot. F***ing hate Windows. And now we can wait forever for it to reboot. One eternity later. And we'll come back when this is done installing. Looks like it's installed. My Arduino is hooked up, so let's just see if it now recognizes the Arduino. Device manager? No. Alright, this sucks. Okay, <laughs> after an hour's worth of trying, I just really needed to like read the instructions, which I really didn't do. <laughs> so uh, Jason Becker basically was like, here, idiot, do this. <laughs> and it seems to have worked. <laughs> Let's try this again. Or banger. Huh. <laughs> All right, so now what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh, I think we go upload here. Com4, right? Uno, upload. Let's see if that works. And we'll go to Keep the fingers uh, crossed. firmware, which was upload firmware to Arduino. Now the COM port's correctly listed. I'm picking my Uno. Oh, that seems to do it. Only one. Um, Manage. Well, no resolution to this. As usual when using a Windows computer, <laughs> I end up very frustrated. But the program just isn't uh, seeing the Arduino for some reason. So I've sent an email to the uh, maker of the program, see if he can help me. I understand he's uh, pretty responsive. But basically, I laid all the blame on f***ing Windows. So. Hours on end, once again, wasted with a Windows computer. I almost want to be plas using Plaster of Paris. <laughs> uh, hopefully I'll get a response from the uh, program uh, developer and he'll be able to tell me what's going on here. As Dave Dan Canyon uh, told me, I could have bought an already built one and had the damn thing working already. Okay, thanks for watching. But a base receiver with Jesus Christ.